Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking at College. I'm Mike Kokinos and today we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes that's so easy to make, a fruit salad. And it's so versatile, you can really use whatever's in season and whatever you like. If you don't like a certain fruit, don't put it in there. If you like something, you can put more of it. You can use it for uh, breakfast, you can use it for lunch, dinner, appetizer, or dessert. It's really versatile and you can do fun things with it too. So uh, let's get started right away. We're going to do a balance of different fruits. Um, I've got some bananas here and um, I like to use really good ingredients. So um, these are baby bananas, which are sweeter and uh, kind of like a smoother texture than a typical uh, Cavendish banana. Did you know that bananas were called Cavendish bananas? But you know, one of the things about fruit is that there are so many varieties and a lot of times in a commercial uh, produce market, you really only see a few varieties. So it's good to try to go to the green markets and see what, you know, is available and what's in season and it's going to be healthier and tastier. So there's three of those baby bananas. And what I'm going to do here is make some nice banana coins. I'm going to slice them up nice and thin, bite size. We want them to be uniform so that they're about the same size. This way in the salad, they'll mix up nice. So let me just dump them into the bowl like this. Nice. They even sound good. A nice yellow color, plenty of vitamins. Fruit salads are great too. They're inexpensive. Um, and you're getting fruit the way uh, nature intended it. It's not processed. I mean, it's really going to be nice and natural for you. So the next thing we're going to put in there is some orange. And... Um, I'm going to cut the orange down. So I'm going to take off the two poles of the orange first, right? And then lay it down. So this way it's going to be safer. Like, look at this orange it's rolling all around, but this orange I've got in a nice position here. And what I'm going to do now is go around the perimeter of the orange and take off all of that white kind of pithy stuff. I hope you can see this and I'm just getting right to the flesh of the orange. It smells so good. It's just making my mouth water. So we're going to kind of keep that. You can keep this. You can do something with it. You can dry it out. You can sugar it. Uh, I'm just going to cut this down now again. And this is a seedless orange. So I'm going to use the whole thing. And again, I'm going for these bite-sized kind of pieces of the orange. There's a little peel on there. Hey, what the hell, right? A little peel is never going to hurt. Actually, most of the flavor of the orange is in the oil that's in the peel. So let's put the orange in. Nice. Okay, what's next? We got a pear. Okay, so same thing with the pear. Just gonna cut down like that. We don't want any pits in the pear. And again, I'm gonna put the flat side down on the cutting board. This way I don't get any fingers in the salad. It's a fruit salad, not a finger salad. Okay, so there's the pear. I'm going to put that in. Ah, this is really developing, right? See how nice it looks? Lots of colors, fresh, smells really good. Here's a mango. This is a Mexican mango. And, uh, you know, pretty much any mango, what you want to do is cut as close as possible to the seed like that. And I'm going to cut the two hemispheres of the mango out. And then. I'm going to make a kind of crosshair pattern. See that? I'm going to go in both directions. And then you can use a spoon and just kind of scoop these pieces out. And they're already going to be like these nice bite-sized pieces. And I'll break them up afterwards when I mix it up a little bit. Break them up. So let me show you that again. I'm going to take the mango, make a couple of slices and then perpendicular ones so we get this kind of crosshair and you can also take it out with your fingers like this just kind of get it all out there and i've washed my hands really well so um, next what are we going to do now i've got some raspberries and they're going to give it some really nice color dump those in hey everybody wants to get in the party here so mix it up a little bit more and now comes the, uh, the kind of garnish or the dressing. So what, what do you want to put in there to kind of make it interesting or I'm just going to get rid of this stuff here and clean up a little bit. 
Um, so I'm going to put some vanilla extract first, a little vanilla extract. Extractives of vanilla. You getting that? A little more vanilla. I like vanilla. Then I'm going to put some raspberry jelly. And that's going to give it a nice kind of a sauce. Right? Raspberry jelly. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, and now for texture, I've got some Marcona almonds. I'm going to dump those in. I don't know. I guess any, any time now. What, what else could go in there? I don't know. Hey, oh, hey, hey, Chef of the Future. How are you? <laughs> How about we add some of this? Whoa, whoa, that looks like high test stuff, Wilson. It is. This is a family show. All right, so this is a uh, rum, right? Yes. Thank you, Wilson. Of course. I think a little rum could definitely go in there, right? Or maybe a lot of rum. That's it. Nice. Let's mix that up. Wow, that rum really gives it a nice aroma. All right, so I've got also some dried cherries here. That'll give it a little more texture. And I've got some dates, and I'm gonna chop those up. So this stuff would really work nicely if it sits in the fridge for a while and all the rum will kind of soak into the fruit and really kind of lend itself. Um, I've also got some, um, you can use any kind of uh, crunchy stuff, maybe like an oat bar or I'm gonna put that in. Watch your fingers. And actually I didn't put the apple in. Maybe I won't put the apple in. Okay, I think, I think we can probably go without the apple. So mix it up. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, where's my friend Wilson? Here I am. All right, Wilson. Yeah. Let's, let's try a little taste. Let me mix in that raspberry jelly really good. Grab a cup there, Wilson, and a nice clean. Oh, yeah, you got a cup. You got a cup. You need a cup? Yeah, you got two spoons here. Right. One for you and one for me. Okay. All right, all right, let's, let's see what we got. So let me see your cup. Right from the bottom, all the good stuff, plenty of rum. All right. Here we go. Right. Cooking at college. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get a good taste of this. Fantastic. Fantastic. Wow. I think that rum really made it. Absolutely. I got to add that to the recipe. Brilliant. Wow. Are you over 21? Of course. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice balance. Very nice. Very nice. I love it. All right. I love it. Great. So you can make that yourself. Well, see you next week on Cooking at College. What are we making? Anything you want. I mean, you prove it. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it. So. All right. Thank you very much for joining us.